Today we're in Norfolk again and we're actually on a train heading from Norwich station out to the north coast of Norfolk to a place called Sheringham. Now today we are doing part of the Norfolk coast path. Anyway we're about to set off um, we're heading to Sheringham from Norwich station. We are then going to get a bus from Sheringham to Weybourne to start our trip from Weybourne hiking all the way up over the mountains and the hills, or well, the mountains, the, the cliffs, the cliffs of Norfolk, um, into Cromer, which is a lovely old seaside resort with a beautiful pier. Welcome uh, to the service for Sheringham. We will be calling at Gunton, Rutton Road, Cromer, West Runton, and Sheringham. Sheringham. Uh, the whole the next stop will be Gunton. The whole walk will take about, it's about seven to eight miles. Now the reason I'm taking the train is, it's the easiest way to get up as far as if you're going to hike from one town to the next. It's easier to take the train and incredibly cheap. I'm doing it on a bank holiday Friday. It's costing me nine pounds return with seven pounds parking in Norwich station. So for 16 pounds, I'm there and back. Anyway, on the train, in Norfolk on the way to Sheringham. So, just arrived in Weybourne via a taxi from Sheringham because no buses from Sheringham to Weybourne today but uh, luckily a group of us shared a taxi these guys are going to Wells and uh, I'm going to get dropped off in uh, Weybourne uh, So now we're heading out of Weybourne towards the coast path uh, which we're going to meet in a minute Here we are, just hit the shingle beach in Weybourne. It's a beautiful, rough, wild day today on the Norfolk coast.
So the North Norfolk coast, known for lookout points, um, anti-aircraft uh, positions to defend England from invasion just across there from the Germans. So the Norfolk coast path is in fact strewn with pillboxes like this one and anti-aircraft establishments. The anti-aircraft establishments didn't do too well. Uh, in fact they did so badly uh, scoring any direct hits that Churchill himself came down to uh, to examine the uh, the posts and see why they were getting no targets and apparently on that day they did shoot down one plane which then crashed into another anti-aircraft anti establishment base. That's a rumour but it could be true. When we do get back to normal, yep. and if you are down, and if you want to pop in, whoever's on watch will um, have it, let me go in. Yes, we can't at the minute with all the restrictions that we've got. Right, right. But we do like we do like our we do like the public to know what we do, yep. and who we are, etc., yep. uh, etc. Et so we're coming into Sheringham, where we may stop for a cup of tea and some cake. Hi. Hi. Oh dear, choice of cakes today, look at that. Too much, the Rocky Road is incredible, I'm about to that one. The Rocky Road? Yeah, the white chocolate and biscoff. Just something else. There it is, the rocky road. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to have that. You're going to have to. I think you've sold that. In fact, I'll have all of that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best sausage rolls you can get. Really, really good. Sheringham. Uh, done two and a quarter miles so far. And now we're going to cut across the beach in front of Sheringham and then climb up Beast and Bump, which is one of the few hills in Norfolk. Beast and Bump, here we come. Even on a stormy day like this, in fact on a stormy day like this, you can get some great shots. Um, I'm now going to set up a shot here across the harbour. The sea is grey and wild, the sky is stormy. Um, you can probably get some very atmospheric shots today. I'm shooting across the fishing boats here to get a bit of those houses in and then the sky and uh, the grey sea. And I'll be shooting, as usual, multiple exposures uh, ow! with a um, <coughs> with a polarizer on. Um, it'll be hard today because it's very windy and I've got the tripod up. Um, but multiple exposures and then stack those and get all the exposure and play with it in Photoshop.
another shot here over these fishing boats looking up out to sea see what we get from there Heading out of uh, Sheringham, got a couple of photographs from there and lunch. So now as I said, we're heading up one of the few hills, serious hills, on the Norfolk Coast Path. Even though the hill, which I can't remember the name of, which had the uh, Coast Guard hut at the top by the golf course was pretty steep too. But here we have the famous, huge, massive, Everest scale Beeston Hill. So, as we climb Beeston Hill or Beeston Bump, as it's known by the locals, as you saw on the sign, I'll give you a bit of history about this this bump. Um, originally, there were two kind of mole hills. They were created uh, 10,000 to 15,000 years ago when the huge glaciers headed north and left these bumps behind. They're made up mainly of sand and gravel with a few rocks which are called erratics. Now there's other history to do with this bump. Stunning information is the Beeston Bump is home of Black Shuck. Now this is a local legend about a huge black dog that used to roam over the, uh, the hills here and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle used to come here on holidays and had a house in Sheringham so it's pretty obvious that Hounds of the Baskervilles was based on the local legend from here of Black Shuck and with that I have completed my climb of Beeston Hill Yes, I've been to the base camp of Everest, but this, this is stunning. So that's where I'm heading, all the way to Chroma. And so, as I head down the bump, a bit more about the Wrens who used to work here. They were stationed in a big house in the village, and they were German-speaking Wrens, because they used to intercept wireless signals from the U-boats as they were passing. And find out any information they could and also try and find the coordinates of the U-boat. If they found the coordinates, they then radioed wireless, WI, that's where the Y comes from, but then changed to Y station for some reason. Wireless intercept, it was originally known as. They would then call to Harwich or Lowestoft or Great Yarmouth, and U-boats, not U-boats, torpedo boats, would be sent out to the coordinates and try and bomb the U-boats from the Wren's translation and deciphering. So Beeston Hill, small as it is, has quite a bit of history in this little bump. You've got the Y station, you've got the glaciers being left behind, and you've got Hound of the Baskervilles, all in this little bump near Sheringham.